Okay, I was gonna um, I was gonna come out and be like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, huh. I thought I got the uh, sexy prescription because, uh, <laughs> but then uh, sex, the sexy prescription uh, for my glasses. But I can't. I wanted to be like, oh, sexy prescription because this audience is uh, very. Oh, I must have got the sexy prescription because this crowd is so uh, sexy. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, but I felt really tacky saying it, so I'm glad I didn't start with that. Uh, <laughs> could you imagine? What it would be a different night. Anyway, oh, wasn't this nice? You guys seem like a really nice crowd of people. How do you, how do you feel about yourself? Um, my name's Katie. Thanks a lot for listening to me talk. Um, I'm from, uh, I, I live in Los Angeles now, but I'm from Toronto and uh, I think, yep. I like all cities. And uh, when, I, when I lived in Toronto, I would ride my bike everywhere and I don't do that anymore as much as I'd like to because I, I was scared. Anyway, uh, but when I ride my bike in Toronto, I, would, I was going to say, I'd ride past things, which I did. Uh, on one occasion, I rode past a couple, and they were on a sidewalk. And a man was standing there, and he had a bicycle with him. And the woman was standing with him, and she had her hand on her hip like this. And when I rode past, I heard the woman say to him, uh, yeah, definitely, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, definitely, yeah, uh-huh, with her hand on her hip like this. And then I wrote off, so I don't know what they're talking about, because that's all I heard. Uh, true story. Anyway, uh, that's one for the book. Anyway, uh, because I'm creative, <laughs> I was like, oh, I, was, I wonder what he said to her to make her respond in that way. I wonder what he said. And I, because I am a creative person, I've, I feel that he must have said something to her like this. He must have said, hey there, lady, what you think of my bike? I'd like to know what you think of my bike. I could take you over here, I could take you over there, I could take you all around the square, but I won't take you where you won't wanna go. You won't wanna go, you won't wanna go. No, I won't take you where you won't wanna go. You won't wanna go, you won't wanna go. I say, I hate that lady, what you think of my bike? I'd like to know what you think of my bike. I could take you over here, I could take you over there, I can take you all around the square, but I won't take you where you won't wanna go. Do you like this song at least? Yeah, definitely, yes, uh-huh, yes, definitely, uh-huh, yes, definitely. Oh, thank you. Also, uh, one thing I did notice on my way out here, I was like feeling around my pockets and there's a piece of Kleenex that went through the wash. If anyone's interested in uh, this piece of Kleenex, it's in my pocket and, uh, okay. Anyway, free. Uh, meet me out in the back. All right. Um, <laughs> Now I live in Los Angeles, oh my gosh, and I uh, isolate myself because I'm not very social, and then I, I'll be like five in the evening, and I'll cough, and I'll be like, oh, I haven't spoken all day. <laughs> like, I haven't used my voice all day. I'll be like, oh, oh, that's me, oh, that's my voice. And I'll just be like, walking around, like, feeling sorry for myself, like, I don't know anybody. I don't hang out with anybody. I should make an effort to make more friends. And just then, just like, without even thinking, I'll just like, reach up and grab a leaf. And I'll draw a face on the leaf. I'll put the leaf in my pocket. I'll be like, I know that guy. <laughs> I know that guy, at least old leaf face of me. We're tight. We'll go to, the, I'll go to the movies. And I'll be like, oh, sorry, I have, a, I have a leaf here as well. This is my friend, so two, please. Oh, I ripped it. Oh, okay, so uh, three. Oh, I have so many friends. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Oh, someone was, no, it's okay. I have friends. I uh, have one friend. Uh, not real, but I like to talk to her. Um, no, I have friends. We're all friends, right? <laughs> Look at, I keep tucking in this little thing. There's a button on the sleeve that you're supposed to put the thing, and I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just tuck it in, but then now it keeps flopping out. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, anyway. Uh, okay, because we're all friends, uh, <laughs> I want to do this fun exercise. I have a bad habit of like holding things in and like uh, uh, not being able to get over stupid events that happen in my life. So I thought it'd be really fun tonight because we're all here. Oh, you guys play a very important role. Um, I'll say a stupid event that's happened in my life that I can't get over, and I need, when I point the mic at you guys, you need to yell out as loud as you can, get over it, crown. My last name's crown. So, for example, well, I'll say like, oh, uh, my shoes, I'm embarrassed by my shoes. Get over it, crown. I will get over it. Oh my gosh, this is very powerful. Okay, great. All right, so now let's do it for real. Uh, so this is one occasion, I'm waiting in line to get a coffee, and uh, there is like, I'm waiting for a long time, then it comes to my turn. And then I realize, I'm like, oh wait, what do I want again? I forget, oh no. And then uh, I have to let other people go ahead and I feel like really dumb and... Get over it, Crown! I will get over 
right? I'm just like, my family's going to watch this. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, so another occasion, uh, I'm sitting there on the, I'm getting on the bus, and there's a woman sitting there, and she has her legs crossed, and they're kind of sticking out in the aisle, so I trip over her feet, and then I'm like, oh, no, I feel so dumb, I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, and she's like, no, 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 I'm sorry, and I'm like, no, haha, no, I'm sorry, and it was this whole back and forth, I'm like, I could have just said it once and sat down. Get over it, I will get over it, not a big deal, great, okay, one more, uh, <laughs> this one occasion, <laughs> I was working out at the YMCA, as one is one to do, and uh, the whole time I was working out, there was a man uh, staring at me the whole time. Every, everywhere I looked, I would see this man in my line of vision, and he would just look at me like, <laughs> like uh, breathing heavily and staring at me, and I was like, oh, well, whatever, just whatever. And then I go downstairs, I change, everything's fine. Um, I'm alone in the change room, I'm the only one there, and, I, and the man is in there when I come out, and I'm like, oh, sorry, uh, the, the men's change room is in, across the hall. This is the women's change room. And he's like, just staring at me the whole time, like. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, sorry, maybe you don't understand the question. Um, the, across the hall, there is a chain, and he's just staring at me. And then he uh, takes out a knife, and he takes out his knife, and then, um, I don't know if you guys seen Terminator 2, but you know when the Terminator, uh, cuts his arm to show the endoskeleton underneath. So he does the thing where he uh, takes out this knife and he proceeds to cut the skin on his arm in such a way and then pulls off the skin to show the bone and holds it up and I'm like, and looking at me the whole time like, <laughs> and then drops the skin on the ground and I'm like, oh my, and by this time I'm freaking out. Like I'm talking very calmly now about it, but I'm able to talk about it. But at this point I'm screaming and I run upstairs to find someone who worked at the Y to be like, what the heck, something's going on here. So. I see a guy, I run upstairs, I see a guy, he has a name tag, it says Miles. I go, Miles, you have to come help me. There's some guy downstairs in the women's change room. He uh, cut off the skin to his arm, it's crazy, you have to come down. And he goes to me, he's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna dupe old Miles again. You know what, no one's gonna make fun of old Miles again. I know you're with that group of crazy kids who made me think that that dog could talk because you were throwing your voices from around the other side of the building. And I told him about my psoriasis, and I've never told anyone about my psoriasis before. And that was all your kids' fault. No one's going to make fun of old Miles again. I'm like, Miles, are you kidding me? No, I don't know who you're talking about. I'm telling you, there's a guy downstairs. He cut off skin to his arm, and, and there's blood everywhere. I don't know. It's crazy. You have to come down. You have to call for help. He's like, oh, yeah, don't try to make a fool of me, old Miles. I'm like, Miles, please, just, you have to come down. It's like, okay, fine, I'll come down. But if I come down and you're joking, I'm going to take your membership card. <laughs> I'm going to take your membership card, and I'm going to draw a mustache on it. <laughs> you're going to be the duped one. And I'm like, okay, fine, that's great, great. I'll draw a mustache on what is this. Just come downstairs. So he comes downstairs, and... The guy's gone. No one's there in the change room. Change room's empty. There's no blood or anything on the floor. And I'm just like, Miles, you have to believe. He's like, oh, I see what this is. Get out of here. I'm like, Miles, no, you have to believe me. I'm not kidding around. This is, this is true. I'm not kidding around. <laughs> no, get out of here. You're my fun old Miles. I told you all the time. He grabs my car and draws his mustache, flicks it back on my face. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Oh, Miles, you have to believe it. No, get out of I'm like, oh, fine. And I, like, run upstairs get on my bike, I ride home, and I'm just like, what just happened? That's crazy, like, I don't even know what happened. I'm feeling all, like, um, uh, over-emotional, and then I get home, and then um, when I get home, there's uh, an envelope, uh, uh, I'm on front door, like, a large middle envelope, and, um, sorry, I know this is a comedy show. <laughs> okay, there's uh, an, env an, an envelope on my front door, and it has uh, blood, blood on it, and um, uh, I, uh, <laughs> It's, um, I open the envelope and um, it's his skin in uh, the envelope and it's wrapped in a bow shape and uh, there's, he's clipped uh, nails of some sort, of uh, someone's nails, I assume there's, and uh, placed them in such a way on the skin to spell words. <clears throat> Sorry. And uh, I read it and said, oh, great workout. See you next week. I will get over it. I can't believe it. All right, that's it for me. I'm Katie Crown. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank